If you are someone that likes your chicken to be juicy and crispy at the same time, this video is for you. Continue watching. Hi guys, you are welcome and welcome back. If you are new here, you are highly welcome. To my old subscribers, thank you for always coming back. So guys, in today's menu, we have this chicken to make and if you like to see how I made this, please continue watching. For this chicken recipe, I'm using some edible seasonings, some garlic powder, some onion powder, cumin powder, some dried parsley, and some smoked paprika. I'll mix them together and set aside. So once I've set the spices aside, I'll go ahead to add a little bit of oil to the chicken. You can skip this part if you want. But the oil is more like adding like a binder to the spices when I add the spices to the chickens. So once I've done that, what I'm doing here is I'm using a knife to just give a little holes to the chicken so the spices can sit inside the chicken when I add it to the chicken. So I've just done that and I'm adding the spices. I'll go ahead to add the spices then I'll make sure that every part of the chicken is well coated with the spices so once the chickens are well coated with the spices you can go ahead to leave the chickens to marinate for at least 30 minutes if you have time to do that but for me i haven't got time to do that so i went ahead to pop it in the oven for 40 minutes on 250 degrees very high set the cooking time according to the setting of your oven and yeah once it's 20 or 15 minutes you can get the chickens out and turn them over so the other part of the chicken can cook well as well i've got a comment someone asking me if i don't always get my chicken out or whatever i'm cooking out to turn them over i don't do that because my oven has a setting that allows me to set my cooking to start cooking from the bottom or from the top that's why i don't always get my chicken or whatever i'm cooking out to turn them over but if you don't have the setting you can always do that cook halfway through and then get the thing out turn it over and continue cooking so after 40 minutes the chicken is ready and the chicken tasted so good and so juicy and crispy at the same time Thank you all for watching if you have watched to this very point thank you all for watching thank you thank you thank you i appreciate your stay here and please do where to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already please subscribe and turn your bell on to get notified each time i upload a new video and please like the video as well share if you can and i will see you all in my next one have a blessed weekend and please be safe wherever you are. Bye.